So a lot of people ask me what my preferred locking method is for my cargo trailer and for different various applications, whether it's the fifth wheel, whether it's a cargo trailer, whether it's the hitch. In terms of the doors on my cargo trailer, I'm a huge fan of these Blay locks, mainly because it covers everything. It covers the bolts that hold the latches in place. It is a very, very solid system. You have this steel pin that basically slides through the back here into the locking mechanism on the door. And and it makes it very, very difficult to gain access to. I'm also a big fan of these amp locks. I have these abloy key systems, which is virtually incrackable. These specific locks are all really solid locks. Now, a lot of people make the claim that you can go on YouTube and you can find a way to get past any lock. And that's true, especially if you are a seasoned professional locksmith like some of the people on YouTube are. Many of those people show you how to defeat locks very quickly using special tools or techniques that have essentially made their trade their craft. And to be a good locksmith, you essentially need to know how to pick locks. That being said, all a lock is is a deterrent right? That's all it is. It's a way to better protect something valuable that you might have inside of either a home, a shed, a trailer, whatever, your RV. You can never get past someone who is very skilled and crafty if they really want to get at something. So just because I show a locking system on here doesn't mean that it's impenetrable. Doesn't mean that there's no way you can get around it. Shoot, if you take enough time, you could cut the entire door off of a trailer and just walk right in instead of having to try to bust a lock. In my opinion, though, these are very, very solid and reputable locks. They work very well. They act as a very good deterrent, both visually and mechanically. They are going to take a long time to gain access to. For most people. Now, if you are a professional locksmith, or if all you do is research how to defeat locks, you might find some really crafty ways. I know there's some people that could put a lock on like this, and they say the ultimate way to bust this off is with a sledgehammer, or hook a winch to it, or back into it with a, a semi-truck. I don't know. There are ways to defeat any type of lock if you're skilled enough. This right here is essentially a solid piece of metal, right? This is just, this thing probably weighs five pounds. You put this on, people are gonna say, well, how are you gonna defeat something like this? Especially with the abloy cylinder that's in it, it would be very difficult to try to pick this. Well, that's true, but what if you took a saws on, just cut the whole thing off, and you don't have a lock to worry about anymore? That's what I'm trying to say. Basically, if somebody wants to break into your trailer, into your home, into your RV bad enough, they can do it. They don't have to even go through the locking system. The lock is just a deterrent and it makes it much more difficult, but more importantly, it generally is going to dissuade somebody from wanting to try to break into it and probably go for an easier target. So that's the whole point of this. I'm not saying that any lock I use is going to be impenetrable. I don't keep anything super high valuable in my trailer anyways. So having a lock system that just deters somebody from getting in is really the best. I think the only video I've actually seen on somebody defeating this specific lock is one where you couldn't even see somebody defeating it. You just saw somebody walking up to a trailer, fiddling with something for a little while and then walking off. And then the person in the description made the claim that they were these blay locks. Aside from that, I haven't seen anybody else defeat them. It doesn't mean I couldn't defeat it. I mean, I could go after these with a sledgehammer and probably defeat it. I could go after the entire trailer and just try to cut through the wall panel and defeat it. That's not the point. Locks are made for deterring thieves. They're not necessarily made to completely prevent it, especially if there's somebody crafty and skilled enough. That being said, these are the locks that I choose. I really like this system. Blaylock is a very, very high quality manufacturer. These are aluminum house, so they're very thick, but they're very lightweight. Probably weigh a third of the weight as one of these, but more importantly, they cost about a third as much. So these are only about 30 bucks. They're not that expensive. You can get a three pack, all key to like, for a little over 100 bucks. I think about 120, 130 bucks to get a three pack of these. Plus they make hitch coupler locks. They make all sorts of different locks for different applications. And you can get every one of them key to like. So you don't have to carry around a big bundle and look like a school janitor. You can carry around just a few keys to access the locks that you need on your trailer because they're all keyed the same. Now, this is the lock that I had been using for a long time on my doors. It is a very, very good master lock. There are a lot of really horrible master locks, but when it comes to one of the better built, one of the harder to defeat master locks, this is really a good one. Now, a skilled locksmith, like the ones people are gonna be referencing on YouTube, can access one of these fairly quickly. That being said, they can access just about any lock, and if they can't access it, they can probably destroy it. This specific lock is actually a pretty high quality lock from Master Lock. It is their Pro Series 
series, the 6321, and it works very well. I've been using these for a long time, but I wanted to upgrade to a lock that covers more than just the lock itself, that covers the whole mounting system, and that's why I'm going with these blade locks. Now this is how the blay lock works. Once you've locked your door and you flip this down, you simply pull this pin out off of the top. You put this over your lock like this. Drop the pin down, slides into place, can't access it anymore. Has a nice little bushing or gasket here at the end to keep from marring or damaging your door. Press the button in and there's no way to get to it. You can't even get to the bolts that hold this assembly on, which is really nice. It covers the whole thing, and it looks really nice. It's just a good system to help deter thieves who are looking for an easy target. Now we're gonna install the second one. Pull the pin out, drop the pin back in place, and it's now locked. And if you're wondering about this little top piece here, this is designed to actually break off if anybody pulls it too hard. So you don't have to worry about it. If they break it off, you can still lift the pin out right here. This is just made to make it a little bit easier. But overall, very good protection, very hard to pick. It's definitely something that's gonna deter most amateurs. But at the same time though, it's designed to be a great deterrent. Anyways, guys, I am very happy with these blade locks. They work very well. In my opinion, it is one of the better security measures you can take on your trailer. They got great reviews everywhere you look at them. Super lightweight, easy to install, made out of aluminum, so you don't have to worry about them rusting or really having any problem there. Has a good locking mechanism. I'm very happy with them. I will put a link in the description of this video if you are interested in this type of locking system for your trailer. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We will talk to you again very soon.